Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. How we feel the warmth of the sun or the gentle touch of our loved ones? The answer to this question is this year's Nobel Prize work. This video is a humble attempt to explain the Nobel Prize discovery in physiology or medicine this year awarded to two US space scientists David Julius and Adam Patapaushian for their discoveries on receptors for temperature and touch together called as somato sensation. David Julius discovered a receptor for temperature which is called as trip V1 whereas Patapaushian discovered a receptor for touch which is called as piso. At the end of the discussion hopefully you will be able to understand the background knowledge how we react to heat and touch what we know before this discovery experiment of David Julius and how he discovered trip V1 experiment of Patapaushian and how he discovered the piso receptor and why this discovery is important within 5 to 10 minutes if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing this channel let's begin with the background knowledge a 17th century philosopher named Descartes depicted that while touching fire a thread is triggered between skin and the brain then a 1906 Nobel Prize work by two great scientists Italian scientist Camillo Golgi and the Spanish scientist Ramon Cajal they discovered the structure of nervous system Camillo Golgi developed a staining technique based on silver nitrate for staining nervous system and both of the scientists could visualize the nervous system under the microscope Golgi was a major proponent of reticular theory proposing that nervous system is a continuous network whereas Raman Kajal was a proponent of neuron theory proposing that nervous system is made up of microscopic cells called neurons now we know that this neuron theory is right the contribution of these two Golgi and Kajal laid the foundation of modern neuroscience then again a Nobel Prize work in 1932 by Charles Sherrington and Edgar Adrian they discovered the function of neurons in sending messages the 1944 Nobel Prize work of Joseph Erlanger and Habit Gasser they discovered highly differentiated functions of single nerve fibers different types of neurons that is responding to different stimulus were discovered so the question answered by the Nobel laureate David Julius and Adam Patapaushian is what is the nature and molecular identity of the receptors that sense temperature and touch or somato sensation? How can those sensors convert stimuli into action potentials within the somatosensory nerve fibers? They could identify specific receptors that is responsible for somato sensation for the first time now moving into the experiment of David Julius he discovered trip V1 as a thermosensitive ion channel in sensory neurons or a temperature sensitive receptor his work was on capsaicin an active ingredient of chili that gives us the burning sensation while eating first he made a massive cDNA library he used rodent dorsal root ganglia which means ganglia means group of neurons sensory neurons and activated these neurons with capsaicin and the expressed RNA was isolated then he made cDNA out of that RNA so he prepared a cDNA library of capsaicin activated genes now the question he put forward is is there a single receptor that binds to capsaicin and acts as a transducer. To find out that, he used a capsaicin insensitive cells. So these cells cannot respond to capsaicin as these cells don't have genes for that. So he transfected cDNA from cDNA library in different planes like suppose cDNA1, cDNA2, cDNA3 like that and activated with capsaicin to test whether there is any cDNA clone or gene that is specifically expressed up upon capsaicin activation. This is actually a gain of function screening. These cells 
gain that function of responding to capsaicin by means of genes that is transfected from the cDNA library. He could isolate a single cDNA clone that is expressed and he later characterized and found out it as transient receptor potential cation channels and he named it as TRIPV1. The receptor was previously called as vanilloid receptor. This discovery of TRIPV1 is a basis of many other discoveries or receptors that is associated with temperature sensation. Later many TRIP receptors were identified like TRIP M8 that helps us in feeling the coolness, cooling sensation, then TRIP V1, TRIP A1 and TRIP M3 that is responsible for the feeling of heat. So many receptors, TRIP receptors were identified that can respond to changes in temperature. He found out that this strip V1 binds to capsaicin on binding of this capsaicin which is a transmembrane integral protein this ion channel opens and acts as a principal transducer further sending the signals and affecting the feeling of burning sensation and he thought that this will help in understanding pain signaling better so this is the work of David Julius now moving into the work of Adam Patapaushian, he discovered PSO2 as a mechanosensitive ion channel for touch and proprioception. Proprioception is a sense of our body's movement and position in space. For that, he used a pressure sensitive cell line or mechanosensitive cell line which is called as Neuro 2A. When this cell line is mechanically activated, it sends out an electric current. Then he poked the cell line or mechanically activated the cell line and studied the expression and found out 72 genes that are activated that codes for many types of ion channels or transmembrane proteins and many unknown proteins. And he wanted to find out is there any specific gene that is involved in this touch and proprioception sensation. For that what he did is he used this cell line then he silenced the 72 genes one by one. Suppose this gene 1 is silenced, then he applied a mechanical force and recorded the electric current. If there is electric current indicating that the pressure sensitiveness is not lost, indicating that that gene is not responsible. So from gene 1 to 71, he could record the electric current suggesting that those genes are not involved in mechanosensitization. To his surprise, the last gene, candidate gene 72, when he silenced using RNA interference technology, he applied mechanical force and found out that no electric current is generated, indicating that that gene is responsible for this pressure sensitiveness or mechanosensitiveness. The gene was called FAM38A at that time and he called it as PSO, referring to P's, the Greek term for pressure. Later he identified one more receptor that is PSO2 and he found out that on mechanical force this transmembrane protein or transmembrane ion channel opens and acts as a principal transducer for the feeling of touch and proprioception. So this is actually, this experiment is actually a loso function screening. Then he transfected this PSO gene into pressure insensitive cells and found out that that cells becomes pressure sensitive indicating or confirming the role of PSO gene or PSO receptor behind the pressure sensitivity or mechano sensitivity. And finally, why is this discovery important? After this discovery of TRIPV1 and PSO receptor, now we know that many other physiological factors are also controlled by this receptor, including core body temperature, visceral pain, neuropathic pain, urination, respiration, blood pressure, etc. 
and they could explain the molecular mechanism how heat called and mechanical force or pressure are sensed and transformed into nervous impulses that enable us to perceive and adapt to the world around us. The understanding of these receptors TRIPV1 and PSO2 with regard to temperature and touch or somato sensation will help us to develop drug or treatments for a wide range of disease conditions including chronic pain. Hope you understand the discovery. If you want to add anything to make this more clear, please add in comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing this channel. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.